on this episode of Warfish. We're heading out to deploy a new ROV. Our last test was very successful, and we believe this heavier, more advanced model will go farther, deeper, and get us closer to more wildlife. As we near our site, there's a lot of bird activity. The sharks are already here. We just missed something. Time to launch the ROV and check out the area. This ROV has eight points of access. It can move in many directions while staying stable. Equipped with a quiet and strong propulsion system, it's an upgrade. All right, Lauren, put it in. Right away, I'm able to tell the difference with this ROV. It's very maneuverable and strong enough to fight the current. The blue sharks come straight in to check it out. It's so much easier to keep track of the sharks. The electric motors create a little magnet field, but it's enough to excite the shark's electroreceptors. They swarm it. There are multiple blues chasing it. They are very curious. But I think we'll be okay as long as we don't see any Mako shark. A Mako has shown up, but the blues are still dominating. So we may be okay as long as a larger Mako shark doesn't. The new ROV is getting a real test. Whatever happened here, these Makos are still very excited. This is a dominance behavior, and the ROV has become prey. The smaller Mako seems more confident and is following me into the deeper water. Ah, I got signal back. I'm going to come back to the surface. Our Mako has bitten the ROV hard, but it's still on the tether so we can safely bring it back to the boat and fix it. Is it another Mako? It's a white marlin. No wonder we have a lot of Mako activity here. This is what the Makos are chasing. We would have never seen the marlin without the ROV. It was staying just outside our range of view. It makes you wonder what else is out there, hovering just out of sight. We have reached the end of our tether and are very far away from the boat. I'm able to slowly make my way back. How far am I? But as I get closer, the Mako is circling the ROV faster and faster. She's not letting me back to the boat. trying to bite it. I got it. As a 
aggressive as the Mako is, the ROV is still fast enough and maneuverable enough to escape. It's amazing how advanced these ROVs have become. It's going to open up a much bigger world around the warfish. I must admit I didn't think much of the little ROV when I laid eyes on it. Looked like a stiff current could have taken it away. That was my first impression of the drone. I could see why some people may think it might not do the job. It didn't walk or talk like other camera operators. But boy, could it swim. It filmed everything through the water like it didn't have a care or worry in the world. Maybe I'm just sad to see our jobs as underwater filmmakers go. But I guess they won't put up any roadblocks for that. I hope one day I can film some amazing things with it. I hope we can see something we have never seen. I actually just hope it comes back to the boat. 